Okay, welcome everyone. This is painting number 25, so we're opening up a whole new pack. One of my friends asked me to talk through the painting, so you guys can kind of follow along with the process and everything. Um, so, this is my first time doing it. If I say um or whatever a lot, ah, forgive me. I'll try to edit out as much as I can. Uh, let's see, I did it right there. Okay, so, it's a six by six. So the first thing I noticed um, when painting with a 6x6, six because six, it's not my usual uh, format, is that uh, it's really hard to find compositions that'll fit in such a small space and still have like a creative impact. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come up with an idea. The subject of today's painting is infinite divisibility. So it's thought that, I'm reading off of Wikipedia, it's thought that any region in space, no matter how small, could be split at infinitum, and time is similarly considered as infinitely div divisible. There's a whole lot of philosophers who argue on this point, and there, it, it can send you down quite the rabbit hole, which can be really, really fun if you want to get into that. I'll put a couple of links below. For the composition of the painting, I actually staged some stuff in my kitchen kind of a weird photo as you can see. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, I'm looking at the composition and I'm thinking about the background. So the first thing I wanna do is like kind of set the color for the background. We're looking at uh, wooden, uh, so like a wooden background with a vanishing point in like the right here. Looks pretty good. And then there's a shelf. I mean, we don't have to have the shelf in there. Maybe we could just have the vanishing point like up here so and we're gonna do brown browns we'll probably just mix them all together let's just do it on the canvas okay so this is just the background boop, boop. and I saw this technique on one of the first tutorials that I did I think it's a really great way to get the paint on the canvas you don't have to worry so much about how you're gonna get started how you're gonna get the paint to be kind of even all around. Plus, I liked the compositions that had some kind of uniform background. Gives the painting a little bit more depth. This one for perspective. And I haven't really done a perspective painting yet. It's all been pretty 2D, so that's fun. I'm hoping to get into a whole series of optical illusions right after this. This one just really stood out for me today. So yeah, the first thing I'm doing is just spread the paint around. <laughs> Since I started painting, people keep bringing up Bob Ross, and I think that's really awesome. He does oil painting though, so it's a little different than acrylic. Maybe a lot different. I haven't done that much oil painting. Alright, cool. Alright, next thing I'm gonna do is put in little lines for the boards. And those look like a, probably just a dark brown. Do. 
Okay, so the vanishing point was here. Okay, so we messed up already. You can see it's not really in line with the brush stroke, so we want to just clean that up. Look at that. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, so. We got this background, so now we get to decide like what we really want the background to be. Or maybe we just want to sponge it off and make it a little unknown. Yeah, let's just do that. This is better. We don't know what's back here because the camera got really blurry. Okay, we're back. Cool. I ran out of space. <laughs> so we're looking at the color for for the cutting board, and we're looking at Naples yellow, which is brand new in this. I almost said deck. Brand new deck. Oh, this isn't the same, huh? That's not okay. That's not gonna work. I'll have to go with something else. I didn't know that the colors could have the same name and be different. So, here we go. This one looks pretty alright. Maybe it needs a little more... Uh, a little white. Okay, here we go. The cutting board. It's from here to here.